Hey everyone, this is day seven of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. And we're finishing up our first week of our consecration. And we are experiencing the deliverance that we have been looking for. And I pray that you have been with us during this spiritual journey of this first week. Today's devotion is entitled, and it's just perfect to finish up this week of deliverance. It's entitled, Sin, You Don't Rule Me. So in Romans, the sixth chapter, verses 11 through 14, let me uh, read this. It says this, here's Paul saying to the church in Rome, likewise, you also reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body that you should obey it in its lust. And do not present your members as instruments of unrighteousness to sin, but present yourselves to God as being alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under law, but under grace. And so we see in this scripture that sin should not rule over you. It should not have dominion over you. And so we've gone through this first week that we have entitled deliverance so that we could be delivered from the things that will lead us to sin. Um, the temptations that we'll have strength over the temptations that our memories uh, will not uh, keep us from moving forward. That this flesh, uh, there's some things that we do with this flesh that is necessary. But then also, as the scripture says, we will use this body as instruments unto unrighteousness. But you're being delivered this weekend. You're walking in your deliverance and you're experiencing even in your weariness that you have strength in the Lord and even in your sickness that he will sustain you. So as a part of this deliverance, recognize and set it in your mind that sin will not have rule over you, that sin will not dictate your life, that you will see sin for what it really is. It is a detestable thing that goes against the will of God, that we will lean to him and we will trust in him and we will put our faith in him because he is our rock. He is the one that resurrected us out of this dead life or made our spirit man new again, alive in him. It is he who washed us and cleansed us um, from our sins and gave us a new life. And as the scripture says, forgetting those things that are behind, but also let any, every man be in Christ who is in Christ is a new creation. Old things are passed away. So don't let sin tell you what to do and don't yield your members to sin, but let your members be used. Let your mouth and your hands and your thoughts and your mind and your heart and your feet be used as instruments of righteousness. As we're continuing in this 21 day consecration, God wants to use you mightily in the church, outside of the church and in this world. But first and foremost, we cannot let sin reign in these bodies. We have to be instruments of righteousness. We have to live holy and we have to live in a way that pleases God. That way he can use us as vessels unto honor rather than vessels unto dishonor. So have that conversation with sin and say, no, no more in this body. I'm going to walk in this newness of life. I'm going to walk in this righteousness that he has given me. And I'm going to be used for the Lord and no, no longer be used by the devil. Sin, you don't rule over me. I am a child of God. God bless you. Don't forget. We're moving into our next week. Uh, tomorrow we will be having our Sunday worship services. So we want to invite you to come on out as I continue in the series, this fast, this church. And we will see now what it's like for the church to be on a mission after we have been delivered from the things of this world. Come on out, be a part of everything that we have for this 21 day consecration. I guarantee you, you're going to be blessed and you're going to become who God has called you to be. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe.